Hi everyone, so today I will do the Schmincke dot card. This is 140 colours and that's what it looks like. We order it, it comes in this envelope and it has got um, also the 35 new colours that were released this year for the 125 years anniversary. So Horadam is their um, artist grade and then they also have a student grade which is called Academy. So these are artist grade and let's go ahead and swatch all of them and I will probably need to speed it up just a little bit so that we can get to see all of these beautiful colors. So it's two pages and it comes with a um, paper, sort of a thin paper that protects from the colors sticking to one another. Okay, let's go ahead and
Okay, so here is the beautiful um, 140 um, dot card from Schminke Horadam in its full glory. And I have gone ahead and marked the 35 new colors which I have on a separate um, dot card right here. So these are the 35 new. I have marked them with a star except for this one which I made a mistake so I tried to cover it up so you can pose here hopefully and have a good look I'll also take an image and the colors are very pretty but what I would say with Schminke is when the colors are wet you literally want to have every single color so um, try to resist the temptation and wait until they're dry and you might change your opinion on a few colors and um, but I have found something quite useful because if you know if you've seen from my previous video I have been on a hunt for pale kind of pinks that are still transparent but have a nice color which are very difficult to find because you tend to get a typical pink like for example magenta and then you get sort of a, a strong color and not a very interesting color once it's washed out but the rose mada right here is a super beautiful color which I'll have to order because it actually picks or um, well, picks it ticks the box in terms of a pale pink if I just come up closer you can see how beautiful it is um, this is the strongest color so it's not very bright to begin with so just with a little bit of water you get a very nice color over here um, so that's definitely to be purchased a few more colors um, which are a bit surprising to me because I have seen almost everyone who has Schminke they have this color the cobalt turquoise in their um, collection which I kind of thought well I'm not sure about it because it's a cobalt so they tend to granulate and also it's a semi um, let's have a look it's a semi opaque so it's not even a semi transparent so generally I don't like this type of colors but actually the color itself is super pretty so although it doesn't have transparency in there um, the color itself is very pretty so I can see why a lot of people have them and I would definitely also add it to my collection. There is a um, couple more surprising colors which I didn't think I would like but this one here which is mahogany brown it's from their new colors and you can see the granulation I think that that looks just incredibly beautiful and um, although it's also an, a fully opaque color, which again is super surprising to me because I tend to stay away from opaques, I find this color incredibly beautiful. And you know, I don't use browns really at all, but I kind of feel I would like to have this. Also, I noticed a few of their um, Siennas were really interesting, so I quite like uh, this which is the transparent sienna it looks quite quite pretty to me i really do like it and let's have a look um yeah for example a yellow ochre seems quite opaque although it seems, seems to be um noted as semi opaque but I don't know it kind of looks a little bit too opaque there and there were a few other colors here actually which I really loved when they were um, when they were wet and now it seems as they have dried they're not catching my attention as much so yeah what else from the greens um, their sub green is, it looks nice, but it's not the sub green that I typically love. I like it to be a little bit more earthy. Um, the what else? 
this one Prussian green I have it already in my palette so that's a pretty color and um, it's a semi opaque as well let's have a look over here um, obviously Conecridon gold hue is, is pretty and the transparent yellow is also very pretty the rest are looking a little bit too opaque for my liking in terms of oranges the yellow orange looks nice and the transparent orange which is a semi-transparent color but it is called transparent so that was interesting and reds are quite pretty <clears throat> from the new reds there is this geranium red which I think is a must-have the the name alone is very tempting I love geraniums, I have Mexican geraniums um, in my garden which I absolutely adore they have this, they're known to have this glowing colour um, then this colour is not bad actually, Vermilion Light, it's from the new colours as well in terms of a pale pink but as you can see compared to this one it pulls more towards the coral but it's pretty and this one is nice, Conacridon Red Light also quite, um, it's sort of, it's a more intense version of this colour I would say so if I had to choose I'd probably go with this one probably um, Blues I'm not too keen in general except for indigo and kind of um, that kind of like Prussian blue Delft blue and that type of blue I like but the rest I'm not too keen so yeah um, so this is and then in terms of white I have done the transparency test because this one claims to be a fully opaque and this one claims to be semi-transparent but to be honest with you when, when they were wet this color looked a lot more opaque um, than when it drew when it dried and so the semi-transparent um, I will give this a color a go because I'm curious so I will order it just to see whether I can um, pale up some of my colors particularly pinks and still stay on a transparent side rather than opaque or um, milky side so I'm going to try give this one a go and see how it goes so I hope you found this quite useful I love doing um, dot cards i think they're just super um, relaxing to do and a joy to look at and instantly you have this array of colors in front of you that you can easily pick and choose and see which ones you like and surprisingly you know you can pick some that uh, you're actually quite attracted towards like this color that you never thought you would be so yeah thanks for watching and see you soon